I'm still in the middle of reviewing the Apple Pro Display XDR monitor, but just had to put out this video very quickly to show you some picture quality improvements brought about by macOS Catalina 10.15.3 that was released a few days ago. According to Apple's release notes, the update will optimize gamma handling of low gray levels on Pro Display XDR for SDR workflow when using macOS. But what does it mean exactly? In this video, I will explain using charts, test patterns, and real-world content. Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Thieu. I'm a display reviewer and professional calibrator. When I started testing the Apple Pro Display XDR a couple of weeks ago, I discovered that the monitor was crushing some shadow detail in SDR mode, even in the most accurate HDTV video preset. If you look at this black clipping test pattern, you can see that the bars only started flashing at around 20 or 21, meaning that shadow detail from 17 to 19 was being crushed. This was reflected in objective measurements as well, with gamma spiking close to 2.8 near black. Let's see how this translates to real-world content. Here I'm displaying a low-light scene from Father Brown played on the Pro Display XDR from a MacBook Pro before macOS Catalina 10.15.3 has landed. Hopefully you can see from your screen that some portions of the walls were too dark, totally devoid of texture, because shadow detail was being clipped. When we put up the scene from Gravity where Sandra Bullock is hurling through space, the Pro Display XDR's local dimming was also overly aggressive, causing distracting luminous fluctuations in various parts of the screen, contributing to a dynamically blotchy appearance. Fortunately, these SDR issues were addressed by the new Catalina update which we installed on our MacBook Pro that we purposely bought for reviewing this monitor. The near-black gamma spike disappeared, and bars 17 and upwards were now flashing correctly in this black clipping test pattern. Note that because we had to increase camera exposure to capture low-light detail, blooming around bright characters was significantly more obvious in this video than what we actually saw in real life. The walls in Father Brown regained their texture and detail, confirming that shadow detail had been restored. The local dimming algorithm appeared to have been tweaked too, so overall luminance in gravity was noticeably more stable, although there remained some vignetting around the corners, as well as some IPS LCD grayness seeping into the top and bottom letterbox bars. Someone with a keen eye must have caught the previous SDR issues and fed it back to Apple, so well done to the company for addressing them so quickly with a macOS software update. As for my full review of the Pro Display XDR, I'll try to finish and upload it before I attend Samsung's and Panasonic's European TV launch this month, so please subscribe and follow this channel if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.